Okay. I am not sure what I'm going to do. So I have this face. Let me fix my camera. I have so here's some things. So I have my substrate. I have a face. And I also want to bring out some things that I'm only going to use first name that Shirley in the group uh, sent to me in a trade. And I want to try to see what I can do. Is this gorgeous or what? Look at that. I really almost think this is art in itself. Like I really could see just framing this. I really don't know what I could do to... I'm going to put it over to the side. I don't want anything to happen to it. This gorgeous green paper. And of course, here is another fall paper. Beautiful. And look at that. A lovely uh, paper from a magazine with pumpkins. Uh, and, and they're not the traditional orange. So this is going to be really fun to create something. Oh, even the chair itself. I mean, really, it almost could just be something right here. Could just make something like that or put put something there oh and over here on the back there are orange pumpkins with some flowers some mums Ooh. so oh before i forget oh and these are these are really neat too i didn't even open these up and every time i've traded with her her packaging is just meticulous it's a true delight look at this look at that oh this is going to be really neat look at that can you see can you see okay lots to choose from so these are going to be really great for maybe around the um the trim here like the corners or something so I could see some of that happening for a little bling um, I could see even making a border with these but I would definitely want to use some really good glue I want to make sure they really stay glued down but I could see something like that happening all right so I'm going to put these back in so I don't lose them and this is me at the end of a day I've had really a challenging day and so I got the one video out so it was video 79 or number 79 I did get it created today and out I made here I'm going to show this one so this was in the video I showed because we were doing a background similar. So this video, I completed the whole thing and up here realized I spelled Thanksgiving wrong. <laughs> I forgot the S. And I had to, I had already recorded it and I was like, what am I going to do? I cannot really go back at this point and correct anything. Um, because, I, I mean, I guess I could have, oh, hold on, let me go and open the door. But all I did is, I, I didn't want to, so anyway, in, in the whole process of editing and everything, the video, the footage was ruined, and I lost it. So I just went in and colored this with a black marker. I may even have one here. Oh, here it is. So this is just simple black permanent marker, just, um, you know, covered it. And then I glued some of these on from, which is it, this little guy. So I just cut these out, and I think I had one of these. I'd already put that down before I realized I totally misspelled uh, Thanksgiving. And then there was like a, a corn um, on the back of a page. And I made it work, but there's no video to it. And all my videos are counted uh, my cards are counted by videos, so every time I lose a video, and probably in this whole process, I've lost about six or so videos, I <laughs> it puts me behind. 
and it's just life. And then, of course, there's been a couple, there was like a week or two I couldn't create because I had stuff going on. So, it is the way it is for me. But my videos, I count, I mean, my cards are counted by video. Okay, so, let's see. I think I'm going to hold off on these background pages because I do have this green uh, background that I'm I'm fine with. I don't think I want to make any more work for myself. Um, but I am thinking about what would be kind of fun and how could I make some of this work. I just hope I'm staying in the shot. Uh, so I really like the Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And I really like that. And I think stop it you can, they're, they've been a little bit fussy, especially Lucy and Argus. They have not gotten along today. Um, I don't think I'm going to do her face or anything with that. Let's see. i got to put my glasses on because I can see, but I can't see as well as I would like to see, if that makes sense. Maybe if I move some stuff around. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to go, and I'm not feeling <laughs> very inspired. It, my creativity is wanting to go in a different direction, but I really want to go in this direction, so we'll see who wins out. Um, so this is something that can be interesting, and if I were to put this here, and we have Happy Thanksgiving, because I don't know, it's too wide, too long to go that way, so we have to go here. And now, before I start cutting into this, I want to make sure it's really going to work. So, do I want a doodle on the background? And I think I do. I think I want to put something back there. I'm also loving this right here and I'm thinking I want to keep these together um, I'm going to probably because of the chair lose this pumpkin or I will lose part of it so I could cut it out mm -hmm. but I will have to hide this area mm -hmm. and I want to see what I do with this one you probably want to see what I do with it too because <laughs> I don't know I want to see how I can work that in I really like how it is nestled in this um I don't know what this stuff is. It, it makes me think of something they call lamb's ear because it's kind of furry. And I'm not really sure what that is. I know it's a particular type of plant or greenery, I think. Now, if I flip it over on the back where we have the colors here, I have some other options. I can... Um, take these and put them in groups like I can have this here I can have this flower uh, with the pumpkin I could probably cut this whole area so if I were to cut this right here that would fit in there. And that would kind of change some stuff. But definitely go with the Thanksgiving. So I might would have to cut these separate. So if I take those off the top and I maybe move them down in the bottom. So if we do something like this and then this is going to be you know, like what we cut out. Let's see, it should fit. It looks like we can make that fit. And then that will take up most of the postcard. So I think I'm gonna go that route, although I do hate to lose the back. I'm recording. Although I do hate to lose the, this, this back area but I feel like between those that what we have, this is going to give me a lot more, I think. 
So let's just go in and do it. And then I'll come and figure out what I'm going to do on the back. I may just keep that same design that I used uh, with the other two. The circles and the little flower kind of motif. Now, I'm not trying to get right up in there. I'm okay with a little bit being left out. So we're going to cut these off. And we're going to come back and we're going to get those later. And I'm going to go underneath this ledge. And I'll cut around here. And I think that was where we said we were going. So I actually want to come down and do something like that. So if I do this, let's see how this is going to build. We do have this one left. So now we can come back. So we'll have to create something back here and then we have to figure out what we want to do here. So let's see what we can salvage from these uh, pumpkins. So I'm going to try to salvage this right here. Sometimes the story kind of takes a turn when we're doing this. And we're just going to take a turn right with it. And we're just going to see how we can place all of this in here. see what happens. So we have, well, we could put those there if we would like, and we've got these pumpkins here. I'm just going to cut them out and then I'll come back and do a little bit more cutting with them. Hopefully I don't have to pull out my, um, I call it the X-Acto, but it's actually a box cutter or something like that. It's not technically an X-Acto knife. So we can decide that we want to sit them there, but now we, we we probably want to have some more stairs or steps or something. So let's just see what of this that we can use. So I'm going to cut this right here and I'm going to see if I can put that. Um, I'll just take it by itself. Now, so my idea, my mind is getting ideas, and I'm thinking I can do this. Um, I guess it's shiplap, and I can make the boards. So that's where my mind is starting to go, and then I can create something in the background for that. So let's see. So let's stop and try to create more of the background, and then see what else of this. I'm pretty sure we can take some of these flowers and I'm pretty sure we can create something with them so we can I'm just going to cut them out loosely somebody got left out now they're complaining so just cutting like that so I can get them quickly and then come back and deal with them. Feeling like I'm getting a sore throat. Ugh, let me go and get her.
All right, let me go get her and I'll be right back. So, so my mind is thinking, so we got these little flowers that we're going to try to tuck in somewhere. And we have the we have these pumpkins down here, but we do need to kind of create something in the background. So let's see where we go. Let us see where we go. Okay. I am not sure where I'm going to go. I have no idea. But I feel like I probably need to get a room or something. So, let's see if this is going to, yeah, it's going to make a mark. Let's see what we get. So, I don't care for perfection. I'm just creating lines because that's what's in my mind right now. And okay. Just a challenge. Alrighty. Now I want to. I don't know what I want to do, honestly, at this moment. I really am not sure what I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to try this guy right here. And. I don't want it to be completely solid, but I want it to create um, the idea of wood. And I know this is probably not someone's idea of a dream facade for their home. <laughs> But I'm looking at it as telling a story where, and I'm going to have to come back through with that with the yellow again, is that this person is all about fall. And so their house, and I know you've seen houses that are like that, where the house just really seems to fit a season or two. Um, some houses can kind of go all year round. But most of the houses will have something to where they just seem to really fit um, the fall and winter. Or some of them are really just, um, it just seems to, whatever, a, a particular season will seem to work really well. And it could be the fact that their house is a particular color. It could be because of the, um, of their yard lends itself to, um, you know, it may be the garden has a lot of flowers, so it makes it look very, uh, for example, it could be in the spring, could just really make the house really shine. Or the winter could just really make the house, it could just be the, the way the house looks at win during winter. A lot of it is where it's located. So this person is all about fall. Okay, so there is my wall. And I have no idea now if this is going to work, but we're going to see what we can do. So we're going to put this here. And we're going to put our Happy Thanksgiving up here. And we have this here, so we're just going to see how everything is starting to work. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll stick these down here, like over here. So maybe we'll cover some of this up. 
And if we were to get some more pumpkins, we can stick those around here too. And then this is going to show that we have a little lantern there. And let's save that. But let's start cutting on some other piece. Oh, we still got these little flowers. So let me cut those out. This is going to just do a, uh, I don't even want to call it fussy cut. Because to me, that's really when you're getting into a lot of detail. And I'm just cutting around. So... And sometimes I have found that some items, once you do cut them out, they just do not look right when you fussy cut them out. And I've done that a couple of times and I thought, well, I just wasted um, however long it took me, 10, 15 minutes on some of these items that you know I had to be very particular with. And I thought, well, that just didn't come out. Now I gotta find my trash can. All right. Let me get this over here. So, I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of thinking we could do something like that around, maybe around here. Because we don't have to really worry about um, fires or anything like that. So, we might could do something. Or, you know what might be better? is something like that and I'm getting my fingers are getting I probably should have let that ink dry but that's okay too so we can just stick that there okay now I can get right here so I really want to save this pumpkin and I'm not sure if I can make it work in this particular uh, oh I have an idea that I'm gonna try so now I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and So, this fills up some more space. Now, if I bring this to the very edge, I'm going to have to cut some of that off, which I think that will be fine. And I think this is okay. Do something like that. We could put these up here so we're just gonna make the assumption that this person has really gone all out for Thanksgiving and they are putting all their pumpkins out and don't wanna... yeah we can do that um, and they're just they're going to have a feast at their house and um, this is this could be a picture that they're going to take for their Thanksgiving invitations you know maybe they have to send out invitations to the family or to their family or maybe this is their tradition and So, in order to try to salvage the last little pumpkin here, oh, that sounded weird, but it's my phone. Argus has been a little bit gassy today, and I kind of thought that was him. So, if I were to incorporate this, so I really don't want to cut this out yet, but I don't want to cut the whole pumpkin out. 
I'm going to save this pumpkin. But look at what I did. Look at how, how I shredded this. I mean, I really took a lot of everything out, basically. You can do that, too. Just have to use your imagination. Okay, so I think we're going to see if we can glue all this down and make it make sense. We hope. Okay, so I don't really want to take too much off because I'm sure that I will forget where something's going to be. So I'm going to try to glue on site here. And the things that I have to be careful about are what's going to be in the background. So like this has to be glued um, before this. And these I will have to scooch up because this stuff has to come back. You see what I'm doing? It's a little tricky. And then this has to do this. So if I don't move everything off, I might have a chance at uh, keeping it in place. There are people who will take pictures. So I think it was around here. They will take pictures of, of their creations. And, um, and then they will glue it. But I'm not in a place to really do that. I think if I were doing it for a larger piece, I would. So we know we want this to come. It might go over a little bit. And then we can come over where the fingerprints are and hopefully once it, it dries, it will be fine. And if not, I'll spray um, over it. Okay. So let's just, uh, so this comes up next. Okay. So let's go there. So is Thanksgiving your favorite time of the year? Is that where, you know, let me know in the comments if, uh, that's when your family does the most of their get together. It's, uh, pretty much ours was Christmas. That seemed to be the time for us, but since my parents have passed, it's just not been the same. For us and now the kids are in um, two of them are living in Texas and be there so uh, we're not going to have them home two of them will be but the other two will not be Put that in there. And the flowers, you know, you can just tuck them ever so, maybe into some of these little places. So no one's going to really know, but we'll know that, yeah. Or if I want, I could maybe do it like that. Now that I see, I think I want to cover up some of that. 
my ink is starting to spread on this stuff. I didn't think that was going to happen. And of course this glue dries clear in case you're new and you're not sure about this purple glue. I guess I got it on my fingers. So this is a great time I think for that little button wipe. I'll pull it out and see what we can wipe off. So that's going to clean that. See if it's not too late to clean over here. Now I know they're baby wipes, but I call them butt wipes. And we don't want to go back over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the marker and I'm going to go back over it and hopefully it will have time to dry and then I can assess if it's going to be a bleeder, you know. But sometimes inks need time to dry and then they do fine. But I have had glue on my fingers and that can also be a situation for this particular ink. So I'm just going through and anywhere that it looks like it got wiped away, I'm just gonna put it back in. And of course you didn't have to do that if you didn't want to. You could uh, totally leave it. But I just wanted to add it in there. That's just me. Okay. Try to get all these little spaces. All right. Now I am going to see how this will, how this does when it dries, and I may have to come back and um, see if I can without touching it too much. Um, may have to come back in and add more glue. Okay. Now. Here's the thing. Do we want to add anything to um, to, to the pumpkins? Um, do I want to make them orange, more orange? And let's see. Let's see. We've got this gold. So I'm thinking. What if? We did something to the pot here. And I'm gonna try not to touch. Now when you come around, I wanna do a little bit of a, um, kind of like a smiley face because of it being round. So maybe we'll do that to these terracotta plates, uh, pots, plates, listen to me. See, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm out of it. Just having a day. Now, what if we make some of this straw seem like it has a little something to it? Okay. Now 
and we can definitely work on maybe a flame in here. We can come back over with some of that orange. We're just going to come around and accent it a little bit. So let's see where else we could go with this. Let me get that orange or maybe I'll do the red. I need to let that dry probably. So what if we add some dots here? I'm not looking to necessarily um, cover every single dot. Or every single flower, I should say. But I want to add a little more interest there. Hopefully this will allow me to kind of create a little flame in there. Okay. I'm just coloring this point, seeing where my mind is taking me. So we got this like green um, plant. So I'm just going to come in here where this basket is and here too. Or is that, what is that? Well, was it a basket there? Maybe it was. It was something that looked like a basket. We're going to cover it up though, whatever it was. So maybe she just put some empty baskets out to fill up space. Oh, you know what? I think it's part of the step. Well, I don't know, it looks like a basket. Oh well, we're going to create something with it now. So we have no choice. Okay, so we got the orange. And I'm going to go in this corner here where this pumpkin is kind of the brightest. And on the side. And my whole idea is just, just to add color. So essentially I'm scratching it in. Now it might not be to your liking and that's fine. And you don't have to do that to your pumpkins. Okay. So hopefully this is dry. So I think we can come in maybe with this gold pen and just, I'm going to put little dots. Now this could be too busy for you and you may think I really don't like that. And that's okay but at least it'll give you an idea of some things that you might find more enjoyable and you may think I'll try that or I won't I'm not gonna try that so now I'm going to go into my white gel pen and do some scratching just to make these pumpkins here stand out a little bit. And 
around here make these flowers just scribbling to make them have a little bit more something So, just going to put a few lines there. And since some of this has gotten over here, that stain from that marker, I'm going to see it may not let me. But I'm going to try. So it's not, so I'm going to try to find a paint pen, let's see, a white paint pen, and then see if I can maybe create something. Now these are the Posca pens that I typically like, I have to say, I've always been very happy with them. So I'm coming around. I really just want to stay around that little white edge to try to cover up any areas that has gotten um, that marker on there. Then what I want to do is put some dots. I just like I like dots. And then this way, to me it just adds a little bit more whimsy. And um, that's what I like. So maybe this is a card instead. Maybe this is the part of an invitation and she's this person is going to be doing their Thanksgiving and they're getting their, they want to show everybody that they're going to really go all out this year. And so she's letting everybody know that she is all going all out. So I don't really see where I really should put anything else. I'm going to get my yellow and see if I can maybe make those flowers stick out a little bit. And we'll see how it works. So I'm getting a little bit, see a little something there. Okay. I think that's it. All right, so this is thank you to Shirley. She sent uh, in her trade, she sent me some items. And so I have used um, her, her magazine page and uh, I was able to get all of these out and then a happy Thanksgiving card. Uh, I'm not really sure, it's a cutout maybe of some sort. It's, um, I'm not really sure what these are called. But we have another one. There's another image. Oh, here, I put everything over here. Let's see, those are her papers. Where's that turkey? Here he is. I forgot what these are called. But anyway, it's one of these. And this little guy, he'll make a presence in another video coming out probably very soon. But I think this turned out, so this is just using the magazine pages, and, or page, um, and creating a background, and um, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, I definitely think this is all about the fall, and, uh, you know, think of all those pumpkin pies that that lady's probably going to make. <laughs> all right. Um, anyway, I hope that you have in, enjoyed this. I hope you've been inspired and I hope that you will come back tomorrow and see what we come up with. Until then, bye.